I suppose that when you spend most of your life in one profession, you develop what could be called an occupational point of view. So maybe I can be forgiven for the first thing I thought of that morning. Because I found myself thinking that the staging and the setting, even the lighting of Maria's funeral were just what she would have wanted. My name is Harry Dawes. I've been a writer and director of movies for longer than I like to remember. I go way back, back to when the movies had two dimensions and one dimension and sometimes no dimension at all. I wrote and directed all three of the movies Maria D'Amata was in, her short, full career from start to finish. I wrote it and directed it, on the screen, that is. What was I doing there? The fates or the furies or whoever wrote and directed her short, full life, they took care of that. Anyway, there I stood, halfway around the world from Hollywood and Vine, in a little graveyard near Rapallo, Italy, watching them bury the Contessa Tolata Favrini, in ground she'd never heard of six months ago, with a stone statue to mark the spot. Life, every now and then, behaves as if it had seen too many bad movies, when everything fits too well, the beginning, the middle, and the end from fade in to fade out. And where I faded in, the Contessa was not a Contessa. She was not even a movie star named Maria de Mata. Where I faded in, her name was Maria Vargas, and she danced in a nightclub in Madrid, Spain. <laughs> 